Hey, what's up? I'm Cantor Simmons, and welcome to day two of Raise Your Grades in Seven Days. Now, if you haven't reviewed day one, make sure you go back and review day one because we talk about how to take control of your day by taking control of your hour. Now, in day two, the second fingertip of this day, of this, uh, of this training course, is all about your mindset. I want you to start seeing school as your full-time job. Yes, see school as your full-time job. Now, if you think for a second, by law, all students must be enrolled in school at least from the age of five to six as they enter the first grade. And that is a requirement of the state of the, you know, part of the laws of the land from first grade up to 12th grade. Now, if you're in that area, middle school, elementary school, high school, then see school as your full-time job. If you're enrolled in college and that is what you're there to do to get a, a degree, see school as your full-time job. Even if you are a working adult and you're going back to get an, your, uh, another degree or certificate or to enhance your career, see school as your full-time job. I need you to have this mindset because now you begin to protect your full-time job because you see it as your full-time job. Now think for a second. Individuals who report to a job, they normally wake up in the morning, have breakfast, prepare themselves, drive to their place of occupation, they check in, they work all day, they take a lunch break, work the, you know, the other half of the day, and then eventually they will check out and then they will come home. For those eight hours, that person is indulged in their career. They're indulged in their job. And what I want you to do is start to indulge yourself to dive into being a full-time student, at least seeing yourself that way, seeing your person who wakes up in the morning, who checks in, who works during the daytime, who takes a lunch break, who checks in later on, and then check out. Now, if you're going to see school as your full-time job, I want to give you some things that you can practically do every single day to boost this mindset and to help you raise your grades. Now, these things that you can write these things down, you can start practically doing these things. These are the things that are going to help you carve out your day and help you see school as your full-time job. Number one, schedule quiet time in your day, motivational time in your day. Visualize the success of your day before the actual day occurs by reading, meditating, praying, and or having your personal pep rally. Every single day, set some time in your day to work on yourself, to invest in yourself. Reading a book, having a pep rally, praying, meditating, whatever it may be, put that in your day every single day. Number two, allocate the times you must be in class on a specific day. If you go to class Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, make sure you allocate that time in your day when you're in the classroom. Like I said earlier, a person who works a full-time job, they know what time they're to be at work. And the same for you. Know what time you're to be in class and make sure you check into that class. Number three, define the time periods in which you will study. So you know what time you will check in. Also know the times of your day in which you will study. As we talked about on tip number one, day one of this course, how you have 168 hours, you can allocate your classroom time. And I'm asking you again to allocate your study time. Number four, plan for a breakfast and lunch, but don't eat for longer than 30 minutes. Use the other designated half of the hour to prepare for your next class. That simply means this. It normally doesn't take a person a whole hour to eat a sandwich or to eat their lunch, but you may allocate 60 minutes for your lunch time and break. Take those first 30 minutes to eat your food. Take those other 30 minutes to relax, to refresh, look over some homework, or even prepare for your next class. But make sure you put that in your day because school is your full-time job, right? Cool. Here's number five. Set time aside for your part-time jobs extracurricular activities, and other necessary events. Do that on your schedule 
Make sure that you allocate the time in your full-time job to do just that. Allocate the time if you have work study. If you're playing sports on the glee club or you're a cheerleader, whatever you're doing outside of the classroom, make sure you allocate that because that is a part of your full-time job as well. Number six, carry a detailed appointment book or organizer so you will always know what needs to be done for the day. The other day I was talking to a young man and he was obviously trying to remember everything that he had to do for the day. And I simply told him, young man, you're not smart enough to remember everything. So write it down. Whether you want to write it down in your iPhone, your iPhone, your iPad, your tablet, your Droid device, whatever it may be, but have a detailed calendar that you can see everything that you need to do for the day for that hour so you can be successful as a student. Number seven, communicate your study time to friends and family so they are aware of your schedule and they won't interfere. Yes, tell your mom and dad, hey, this is my study time. I will do my chores later. Tell your friends, you know, if you need to put on your voicemail or your telephone, hey, I'm studying from three to five. I'll call you back later. But you want to make sure that you protect that study time and see it as a sacred time so you can stay focused and get the job done. Here's the eighth thing that you can do. Go to your study periods as if you have an important appointment. Yes, when it's time to study, go to your designated study area. We'll talk about this in the future. Go to your designated study area, check in, focus, and that's the place that you study. Designate that on your calendar. Designate that on your daily schedule. But you want to make sure that you go to that study period and you protect it. Go to it like it's an important appointment. Go to it like it's an important date. Go to it like it's an important meeting. You and the books, you and that subject for that hour. Number nine, designate a specific location outside of your bedroom to study each subject. Study location can differ based on mood, your surrounding, and time of the day. Because this is your full-time job, you need to have a desk. You need to have a study location. You need to have that one place that the only thing you do there is study. Number 11, plan your free time as you wish. Listen, school is not all about the books and the studying, but you have to have some free time. Whether that's playing video games, whether that's hanging out with your girls, whether that's going to get one of your favorite desserts, ice cream or drink or whatever it may be, but make sure you plan your play time, you plan your free time. Number 11, Establish your playtime and don't be a workaholic. So you have free time and then you have playtime. Make sure that when you have free time, you use that time to relax. But you have playtime, you use that time to do something fun. You use that time to go, I'm going to say ball out or wild out, but do something that you absolutely love to do. So you have your free time, plan that, and you have your playtime. Number 12, study for the designated class at the designated Excuse me, study for the designated class at the designated time, even if you don't have that class for that day. What that simply means, as a full-time student, every single day, spend some time reviewing or studying for every single class. And you want to put that on your schedule every single day. Whether you have math class today or Monday, uh, Wednesday and Friday, Make sure that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you spend a little bit of time of your day reviewing your math. And the 13th thing that you can do to change the mindset to have a, uh, to see yourself as a a full-time student is to don't allow planned events to overlap. Schedule it on purpose, then do it on purpose. When it's time to read, read. When it's time to work, work. When it's time to study, study. There you have it. Those are 13 things that you can do to shift your mindset and to shift your day to see yourself as a full-time student. Hopefully that was helpful for you. And this is day two of our video training course of Raise Your Grades in Seven Days. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, there's only one game in life that counts, and that's your A game.